Oh, no. Don't tell me. What? Oh, come on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I might be just... There it is. There we go. Ugh. See here, close all. Close all. Um, ba 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 booey, ba 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 booey, ba ba booey, ba 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 booey, ba ba booey. Let's do this. Now, oh, Lord. Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. So I just move stuff around i've been home i'm getting on the game i haven't really had a chance to eat i'm sorry be on the new my havens and assets my heathens and assets so what i'm gonna do is while playing this game i'm going to eat and yes i have crab legs sure is the tennysons came over on the ground break my grandmother, Chief Gang, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Hmm. It was different knowing that I couldn't turn to anyone who could answer the tough questions for me. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennysons know about. Hmm. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. Hmm. No problem. You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. Hmm. All right, I'm I'm scared, but sure. I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I gelded that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. You've got my attention. Mm. You're right. I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power, and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. Well, how do I help? You've got my attention. Hmm. All right. So here's what we're going to do, right? Purchase. 
Um, Have you seen this? How's everybody's day going? What is down on my luck? What do I? Um. Lord, I hope I get this right. What? Unlock that terminal. Okay. <coughs> I don't know what that symbol is that I need. Only have 20 of. What do I only have 20 of? Consumables, modifications. No, I don't have 20 of those. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Mother, I, oh, that just upset me. Oh, I have a perk point. You should read more. Upsetty spaghetti. Is there a way for me to switch to you? Something you need? Well, I didn't expect her to be so tall. And did you see the size of her arms? What? No. 
Maybe? I don't... It's like somebody reached into my head and pulled out what I didn't know I wanted. You know how hard it is to find anybody who likes working with tools in a little town like Edgewater? Hmm. I reckon there's worse places to start. Did you see how everybody on Groundbreaker listens to June Lay? She's just, here's how to fix it. And they trust her. It's just... She's calm and knows what to do. I wish I was half so confident. Hmm. Hmm. So basically, I need to level up. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? Mm, I'm right now, Father Anderson. All right. So, since I have to level up, let's go with this one. Agents would be more content sitting at the top of the system's food chain as they are. To defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife you would think so. and the unemployed, talk to your local manager about applying for military training. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Okay. Oh, Alex, there were so many arguments we'd yet to have. Ah? Uh -huh. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Yeah, I'm a lot of you. Ah. <sighs> That's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? Trust me, you don't want the details. You're quite right, of course. Best not to pry into such dismal things. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? You haven't yeah. read the posters. He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. Well, Alex knew, or he said he did. And you have his ship. Maybe he kept some records around, or 
A conveniently placed note on his bedside table. Mm. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Mm. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Hmm. Kind and efficient. Can't say I disapprove. Although, seeing as this woman isn't a member of our crew, it'd be nice if the price weren't quite so high. I think you may have underestimated the size of Miss Doyle's debt. If you'll look over this itemized bill... I am extremely anguished, Captain. Please respect my feelings in this difficult time. I doubt Mr. Bedford's ever felt real pain. We could introduce him to the sort of suffering that actually constitutes extreme anguish. For the good of his understanding, of course. Be careful you don't irritate my guards, Vicar. You might not like their rather narrow understanding of what constitutes excessive force. Unless you can offer some other means of resolving her debt, I'm afraid we have nothing further to discuss. Hmm. Oh! Oh, that's bullshit. This way? That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Hell, the board. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Hmm. Be my guest. I'm the certified representative of the board's interests here on the Groundbreaker. And their eyes, ears, and busy little hands. Oh. Oh, so I just have to kill you. I send a lot of messages. Sometimes I read them. Every once in a while, I'll impound a ship if I want to feel alive. Oh, you've noticed my friends. Wonderful. Aren't their guns very large? Tremendously impressive. They're here to keep the peace, of course. Precisely. Groundbreaker makes much ado about its independent status and so resents any board presence, no matter how benign. When the alternative is board guards at their gates, yes, I do. They don't see it that way, of course, but I can't say I much care. Well, on, buddy. Talk yourself into a funeral. Uh, law, but it's miserable. My underarms are damp. How can I be expected to work in these conditions? Chief Tennyson is supposedly looking into the cause, but I've seen no action from her. Deplorable conduct. My superiors will be hearing about it. You can be certain of that. She's doing everything she can. It's your people's fault it's not fixed, not Jume Lay's. <laughs> My, aren't you? Hmm. 
excitable. Oh, sweetie. I don't owe a grease-stained wrench jockey like her the time of day. Let alone my deference. I'm sorry my temper got away from me. Please accept my sincerest apologies to you and your friend. Oh, I'm not used to folks saying sorry. Um, it's... It's not all right exactly, but I appreciate the apology, I guess? Well, now that that's dealt with... Huh. I'm about to be at some Was loud... Wow. Else you... I'm about to be some loud cracking. So, uh, and why are you saying no? It's about to be some loud cracking, so I'm gonna mute myself. A luxury stateroom, reserved for Chairman Rockwell's use. Oh, good law, of course not. He'd never set foot on this decrepit junk pile. As this office is the primary embassy for the board on Groundbreaker, corporate bylaws specifically state a room must be maintained for the chairman's exclusive use. Oh, good law! Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? No. Emphatically no. Unequivocally no. Immutably no. Haven farting up a storm. He not cracking crab legs. He's making his room a biohazard. Best to be clear, I believe. Ask away. Loki, fuck you. Me, I am going to... Dump it all here. How do you do? Huh. Love you too, oh, Haven. Okay. It switches to that? Okay. Y'all hear rattling. What you're hearing is Haven being a fatty. This is my dinner. Oh. Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from a... Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. 
speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Uh, okay. Well. You stumbled into my court without an invitation, neighbor from above. If you don't have any business, then it's time to light up the grill. No one turns their back on me while I'm holding court. Get them, boys! Here they come! Here I go! Stop attacking my people. Jesus! Well, now that I know there's nothing to be gained from talking to you, like a civilized person, I'm gonna run up in your house and take all your shit. Oh, yeah. Cheap vendor parts are always good. I hate tiny pieces of crap. From above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Cool. Here we go. doing something not correct but we'll figure it out you know I need a bomb Red, were you expecting any company watch out captain Shit. Jesus! 
Jesus. Okay, the machines. The machines have to be taken out first. I'm not sure how I did this, but okay. from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with me. That'll help, that'll help, that'll help. I'm dying, I'm dying. Why am I dying? Okay, it takes more than one hit to kill that mofo. So here's how we gonna do this, right? Roses are red. No weapon against me so prosper. With me and these two motherfuckers, you about to get caught by Big Raga, the op stopper. Take them out. There we go. So, the two main issues I'm having is the main fight and hmm. Hmm.
trying to think. So. The answer is no. Expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now. Or you Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. Huh. Yum yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing per Is this what carbon monoxide? Uh, speaking from You came with the crew. Yeah. <coughs> Sometimes violence is the only way. Kill him. Fuck, what is killing me? Fuck! Every time I heal, something is killing the utmost. Get the fuck out of my life! God damn it! What the fuck is killing me? I literally can't get a solid bead on anything! It's too much going on, I don't have enough bullets! I need a bomb! Hey McRed, were you expecting any company? No, I want that one dead. Get that thing out the goddamn sky. I'll take your confession. For the love of fuck! Get out of my way! If I can get rid of you two, oh, I can win this fight! Die! Thank you! Thank you! Jesus fucking Christ! What is hitting me? Oh, there's another one! There is no fucking way I just lost again! Oh my fucking god! This fight isn't even hard! Company. Die! Shut the fuck up! I smite you in the name of the law! Thank you! You've got to be kidding me. Die. them fuck everyone in this room oh my god oh my actual god that pissed me off oh oh and i just mm, um, nope 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 it happened oh there is a way to mute him from the comment section there is an actual way to mute him from the comment section
killing every goddamn thing down here. Fuck them. Oh, man. Shut the entire fuck up. Because you know you aggravate me, and you know you antagonize me, and you know you do it on purpose. So shut up. Just shut up. I don't think I like that you right here. So I, being a sound mind and body, I'm gonna smash you. I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it. Whew. Yeah, I, I don't really trust you. You kind of have a reputation. You're gonna die? You got a rep too. Not as bad as yours. All right, kid, talk to me. I uh, haven't seen any new faces down here since I arrived. Debatable. Not sure how long ago that was. The grid tends to incinerate anyone who comes by. Ah, it's too bad. I mean, he was a scary fucker, total pyromaniac, but you know how it is. You meet a guy, get used to his quirks, and then blam. You got used to murder? I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. I'm passing up nothing. Alright. So what's my carrier weight? Do I have too many armors on me? I definitely have too many armors on me. The shit is half this stuff.
So I can jump. Didn't even realize that. <sighs> yeah, I don't know how to. Do I have a locker or something? Where the fuck? Okay, I would love if it told me. Oh, my carrying rate is 145. Okay, yeah, we can. We can get rid of some of this shit. I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell. 